How's it going everybody? Today we're back with this 2002 Ford Expedition and uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to replace the air shocks in the front. Um, I already did this side and I tried to record it but I I went mental or something and uh, I had a lot of trouble with it so I thought I better just start fresh and show y'all how to do it on this side. So uh, I guess without further ado, let's try it. First thing is take your tire, oh yeah, jack it up on the frame somewhere so that the suspension is all hanging. Okay, up there, right here, you have that um, air hose going into your shock. You see this little green piece around there? You're gonna press down on it and then just pull this out. Okay, now uh, grab your, let's see, it's a 15 millimeter wrench down here I'll just slide it through this hole here um got to find 18 millimeters though and these are gonna be tight so I'm gonna use the breaker bar first just start loosening your lower shock bolt it is super tight at first because of the bushing I assume okay. use a percussive instrument to beat that bolt out I had gotten my uh, bottom bolt stuck, so we're going to just take the shock off from the top first, and that involves getting these clips out, so grab your tool like this, this is super handy, and uh, pry them out. I didn't have it. Uh, I was gonna say you can get something down here, like vice grips, but it's not necessary in my case. I just need to take this uh, nut off and it should be good to go. In my case, it's a 15 millimeter. Yours might be different. Though. Top bushings off. And that, okay, I just slid that bolt out. That was so easy. <sighs> I should have done that from the get go. Okay, I can't get this out completely yet. I think if I pried enough, I could, but we're gonna have to separate our upper ball joint anyway. So I will do that real quick. Slide the cotter pin out first, and then you can get your three quarter inch socket in here. Let's see. Okay. Now I'm just uh, lifting up the suspension a little bit to get some support. You're gonna take your weapon of choice to try and separate it. I think it just went. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I did. Cool. Okay, let's so take your nut off and put that to the side oh okay slide your support out and then oh, 
should be able to, there you go. These ball joints are terrible. They need to be replaced, I think. Okay, so now, uh, you should be able to pull out your shock just like that. Now here's our new shock. This is a, a ready that I got from eBay. 45 bucks for the pair. Hard to beat that in my opinion. <laughs> uh, take your one of these washers that came with the kit and you're gonna, it's, it'll be facing up, you know, like how it kind of looks like a dinner plate. Uh, and then you take your, one of your bushings, the fatter side goes down like that. And then we'll worry about the rest later. Just slide this up into here. Oh, I need to clean that out real quick. Okay. Just step into here. Okay, again, fat side goes down. Put your plate up here. And then your new nut. Just start it up there. Okay, and now my phone's about to die. So, hope I can finish this, but a good tip is to uh, remove your sway bar end link. That will save you so much time trying to pry and all that. So we're gonna do that right now. It is, okay on this one it's a 15 on top and 15 on bottom. The other side's messed up. And that gives you a lot more room just like that. Just like that. And now, you can just put your um, pushing back on. Okay, now once you got your sway bar back on, you can slide your bolt back in. It's maybe a little tricky. Don't wanna do it. All right, that was simple. Okay, where's the nut? So let's get our nut, just slide it back on there. It's an 18 millimeter and a 15 millimeter wrench. Pretty tight if you ask me. I'd say that's about good. You don't want it to be too smushed, but you also want it to be tight. So that would, I guess that's an okay medium. Now, uh, just put your ball joint back together or, uh, yeah. Okay, now we will tighten it up with our big uh, half inch socket or ratchet. Get your cotter pin. Slide it right through. Perfect. Now we can let this down, I think. Oh, 
okay and now you can put everything back together get your tire back on and you'll be ready to do the other side which unfortunately I think the other side is a little more tricky but it may not be uh, I didn't enjoy it very much this side went a lot quicker though I'll tell you that much now I guess after everything is done we can put our little cover here back on Okay, that side is complete. Now all you gotta do is just do this side. It's virtually the same. Um, it's not, there's maybe some differences, like you don't have to take the, the padding out or nothing. You just go up here through the, like where the dipstick is at. Um, yeah, pretty much the same. But, and I already did that side by the way, but it, I guess it looks more level. I can't really tell a difference. Probably out on the road it would look different, but I think it's, to me, it looks the same, but oh well. Uh, but now I can say it's got four wheel coil suspension. So I don't know, I guess that's okay. I'd rather kept the air suspension, but it was too expensive to try and put that uh, system back together. I hope that video was a little helpful. I'm sorry that this, that it kind of sucked, but I just don't got it today for some reason. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped, and I will see y'all later.